Earlier today, Vice President Biden arriving for tonight's debate. And if it is a knife fight, as Chris suggested, Biden may want some advice to stay safe, and we have it for him. Last night, Karen Tumulty gave tips to Paul Ryan. Tonight, her words of debate wisdom for the vice president. I'm Karen Tumulty, and here are my debate prep tips for you, Vice President Joe Biden. Nice to meet you. Hey, can I call you Joe? Okay, good. First lesson, one of your favorite tactics is always effective. So slather on some praise before you make an attack, as you did here. Congressman Paul Ryan, who is a good, smart, decent man, and he is. He's laid out the Republican vision for how to deal with the deficit and how to move forward. But he does it. He does it by decimating Medicare. Second, before you start talking about Paul Ryan taking us back to the 1960s, remember, he hadn't been born yet. The differences among us, the four of us, between the president and Governor Romney, these differences matter. They matter in terms of American social policy, whether we continue to progress or we go back to the 60s. Lesson three, humor goes a long way especially when the joke is on yourself. Biden is a gaffe machine. Can you reassure your voters in this country that you would have the discipline you would need on the world stage, Senator? Yes. <laughs> Fourth, don't just pick on your opponent's weaknesses, take on his strengths as well. Rudy Giuliani, probably the most underqualified man since George Bush to seek the presidency, <laughs> is here talking about any of the people here. Rudy Giuliani. I mean, think about it. Rudy Giuliani, there's, th there's only three things he mentioned in a sentence, a noun and a verb in 9-11. I mean, there's nothing else. And the fifth lesson, tell your own story. The notion that somehow, because I'm a man, I don't know what it's like to raise two kids alone. I don't know what it's like to have a child you're not sure is gonna, is gonna make it. I understand, I understand. So, Mr. Vice President, Here's your game plan. Your words can sometimes get you into trouble and sometimes they can get you out of it. Which will it be this time?